Okay. Nathan says actions are ready to go. Good morning, excited seventh graders. Today we're working on finding the area and perimeter of trapezoids. Now a trapezoid. Yeah, trapezoid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a trapezoid is a special type of quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel sides. In this case, the top and of bottom. And that's are what parallel. a trapezoid looks like. Yes, and Nathan says that's what a trapezoid looks like. So, in a trapezoid, there are two bases, the top and bottom, or the sides as necessary. We call it base one and base two. Oh, forgot to and pick up the eraser. Always, there's a height. When you're done with that shape, I'm going to erase it. The area of a trapezoid is given by just like a rectangle where it's base times height, but now we have two bases of various sizes. So broadly speaking, oh. we do the average of the two, then multiply by the height. Daddy, you're making an extra long video. Okay, sometimes when they write this, they do one half of B1 plus B2. It doesn't really matter. What matters is you add up the bases, hit enter, divide by two, then multiply by the height. Okay, so Zach and Nathan, erase this please. Oh. <laughs> All of this, but that's for that word on the top. Yes. I remember the rate the rate. Okay. So questions if base one equals eight inches and base two equals four inches and the height of course is it's four six inches. inches. Six Let's inches. Let's find the area of the shape. Let's find it. All right, so we add the bases. Let's eight plus and four. And you're gonna do all those tricky math problems. Get your handy dandy calculator. Two. Yep, correct. And multiply by the height of six. Okay, eight plus four. You know what that is, Nathan? Eight plus four. Yeah. Uh. Um. Start at eight. Count by count by four. So. Um. Let me nine. get um. Four here. Okay. 12! Okay, 12 divided by 2 times 6. 12 divided by 2 oh. is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. The answer is 36 square inches. Okay, so that's how you do it. They give you the two bases and the height. Now we're going to get a picture and figure out how to do it from a picture. Oh, sorry, Nathan. My apologies. He really likes being involved in these videos, and he's cuter than me, so it evens out. Did you say I'm out? It evens out, I said. Okay, so let's draw a new picture. Let's find the area and perimeter of this shape. So let's that's say this a, is that's five the same centimeters. shape. That you make this one. is six centimeters. Right, Daddy. This is ten centimeters. This is four centimeters. And let's say this is seven centimeters. Okay, find the perimeter and the area. To find the perimeter, was always, once again, we add the lengths of each side. So the seven, the height here, is not important. What is important, Nathan? You have to be able to see. 4 plus 5 plus 10 plus 6. That gives you 25 centimeters. 25 centimeters? Yep. Okay. Now, Nathan, the two bases are the top and bottom. What numbers are on the top and bottom? Um... No, the bottom of the shape. Oh. Ten, four. Yep, ten and four. Thank you. Four plus ten the divided by two numbers, times the height of seven. No, no, You're blocking the board. Thank you. Okay, four plus ten is fourteen. Divided by two is seven. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Oddly enough, it just worked out this way that both times the number there was the same as the number there. That's once again a word coincidence. When I make these problems up, that's what happens. 
But as always, feel free to ask me questions. Keep trying. You can do the assignment here, the little graded quiz multiple times. Just take, it'll take whatever the highest score is. Thank you. See you later.